There are some parts of Tokyo that almost don't seem real when you visit them, like a scene out of some hyper-realistic sci-fi novel. <laughs> what a wild sight here, my goodness. We came out to Tokyo Dome City to check out the year-end illuminations, but got way more than we were expecting in this unique corner of Tokyo. Get ready, because it all starts now on this episode of Life in Japan. What do you guys think? Sarah? <laughs> no. Since moving to Japan, we've always wanted to get out to see Tokyo's famous illuminations. They have them in several places across town, but one of the places that caught our eye was Tokyo Dome City, because there's a lot more than just illuminations going on. Whoa, look at this park. Cool, guys. Can you hold my bag, please? Wait, let's go see where we want to go first. It's a yellow fountain, Sarah. You like yellow? Yeah, yeah should we go see the park? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Nothing kicks off a big day of exploration like finding a park where the kids can burn off their energy. <laughs> kids are drawn to parks like moths to a flame, and sometimes the best parts of the day happen in the most unlikely places. But today we've come here for much more than playing in the park. We're going to see what makes Tokyo Dome City so special. Whoa, cool. That was nice. Nice. We'll end the day by seeing the illuminations around here. But before we can set off exploring, we've got to fuel up. Dude, yeah. you made that cheeseburger disappear fast, huh? Look at that. Well, Ruth, we came to check out Tokyo Dome City and the attractions, and so far, what has happened? Have McDonald's and found the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna go do something else now. No need to overcomplicate things here. Fun can be had anywhere. What'd you find here? Just keep going around. Just going around? It's so long. Yeah? That is nice. What are we doing here? Uh, I won. There goes the roller coaster. You guys don't want to go try that? Look, there it goes. Waiting. Are you? We're waiting for you. Oh, ready. Okay, let's go. Let's go like Mario. Come on, Princess Peach. You're not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and with that, we were on our way to adventure. I was talking about a different roller coaster. Oh my. Our adventure took us to La Croix, probably the coolest Japanese mall I've ever been to, and certainly the most fun to say. La Croix. What makes this mall so cool? Well, there's not only a famous spa and theme park feel to the whole place, but one of the tallest coasters in the world goes through this mall, quite literally. And at 80 meters tall, the Thunder Dolphin is a world-class coaster built by Intamin that races through Tokyo's rooftops at a cool 130 kilometers an hour, faster than you can legally go on any of Tokyo's highways. What do you think, dude? Do you want to do that, Becca? Yeah. Definitely, let's go. Oh, you're waiting for me? Oh. Unfortunately for Joshua, he wasn't tall enough or old enough to ride. And once we got on, we saw why. From this 2017 on-ride video from Hikawa Rides, you can see just how intense it is. You get the most amazing view of Tokyo, but only for a moment as you drop down this 80 degree hill and immediately begin barreling up the other side on top of the large building. You have the sensation that you are flying through the skyline of Tokyo, and just about the time you process what is going on, you are dropping again, this time through the building itself, back down towards Earth only to perform a huge bank turn through La Croix's centerless Ferris wheel, exiting the corner to ride back up to the heights of the mall again. This coaster only has right-hand turns, and the fact that Intamin fits such an amazing coaster in an area with so many restrictions just goes to show how creative they are. The ride is short because, frankly, there's no more space for the coaster to use, and it has to slow you down from your blazing fast speeds at the end. 
but it leaves you feeling like you just experienced something that cannot be experienced anywhere else. <laughs> Good. That's right, the Anna. Not the best, best ride, but it was a very good ride. It's the best roller coaster. The best roller coaster you've ever ridden, you think? Hey, okay, girls. More like down than I thought it was. I know it was so steep when it goes down. It really goes down. Then it goes up around that building corner. Look at that, and it flies around that corner. It comes flying back around. You thought maybe best roller coaster ever? Maybe. Maybe, Anna? It was really fun. It, it's in my top three. It's top three. It might be in my top three. I've ridden a lot of roller coasters, but that one is super special because you're in the middle of the city and it just feels crazy flying through it on a roller coaster. I loved it. You gotta try it if you're here. Afterwards, it was time to find a ride that Sarah and Joshua could do, and it didn't take long to find it. Tokyo Dome City was really turning out to be one of the most unique places in all of Tokyo, and we still had merely scratched the surface. Oh my, are you guys ready for this? Huh? Oh yeah. And then go up, up, up. Whoa. Pull harder, harder, pull. The camera wants to know, how was that ride? Harder than you expect. Harder than you expect? You really yeah. had to pull hard, huh? I was trying to pull it in, and then Sarah, I grabbed you, and I was going to grab you. She grabbed it, and I didn't grab it. No, I, I called the very top and go, <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, at least went up two times. Two times. There are tons of people out here today. Everyone's waiting in line for something big. All right, should we go get a coffee? Big, not bigger than coffee, but let's go. No, let's go get a coffee. We're just waiting, huh? For something. For something, for the lights to come on, huh? For it to get dark. Illumination, we want to see it. Illumination! Illuminate! We had a little bit of time to kill before the illuminations turned on, so we decided to jump into some more explorations. Fortunately for us, Tokyo Dome City isn't just marvels of modern society. For next door is a park that highlights Tokyo's past. Yes, I'm to carry my water. Oh, a special assignment water carrier. All right. Having the ancient and modern juxtaposed is one of the things I love about Japan, and you can most clearly see it in places like these. What was meant to just pass the time turned into one of our favorite parts of the whole day. I know, it kind of feels like it. Do you find a place to rest, Sarah? We've been walking some today, huh? Yeah. A little too much, maybe? Three. Two, one. You look like an explorer, Joshua. You are. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's explore. And explore we would, right into some of this area's most beautiful spots. Oh, there's a duck right there. Oh, lots of ducks. Steps and ducks. Ducks and fish. Can I ask you how you're so adorable? Forgive me. Wow. That does not sound like a duck. Oh, I think it sounds like a crow. You want to hear me? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Soon the sun set and twilight began to set in. It became darker and darker even as we explored more and more. My, look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. Over there, you gotta actually walk right there. Mama Chan, get her no. picture on. No, we'll just stay looking cute. Don't go all backwards. Back over there, please. Smile. Oh, uh, look. If that oh, was Sakura. Yeah, I bet the Sakura time is just perfect here. Up or down? Mm hmm. Sarah, stand right here. Right here. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Well, like I said, that's what those big eyes is creepy. Okay. Becca wants to come in like a model. It's a model moment. Step, step. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Mommy, look! Take a picture right there. Stand. 
Okay. Now, this is cool here, guys. Ooh, look at that. What a bridge. This is picturesque here. Look at it. I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is cool. It's a dead end with a really cool view, though, huh? Not all the trails were dead ends, and some of them even took us to a much needed bathroom. By now it was really getting dark, and the grand finale of the day was ready to happen. Illuminations. Isn't it crazy? From here you can see the roller coaster. Well dude, has it been a fun day today? Hey. Pretty fun. Now one of the whole reasons we came here was for the illuminations that night that we've heard are really cool, and we're just about ready to see them. For heading back that way. As we re-emerged into modern Tokyo, we took advantage of where we were to get a few more fun photos before exploring Tokyo Dome City at night. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, those are cool, huh? Oh my. Aww. And it wasn't just the trick shots that were great. I only wish I could have gotten in some of these shots with everyone. There goes the roller coaster. Can I get a roller coaster again? It might be a big light. I bet it's even crazier at night, huh? There it goes. Oh my. At night in the winter, Tokyo comes alive with illuminations. And because today is so warm, we really get to enjoy them to the full. We head back to La Croix and do our best not to get sucked into doing the roller coaster Thunder Dolphin again. That might be cool down in there, huh? Rebecca, Anna, oh. We took in the rest of the illuminations and grabbed a bite to eat. We were all a bit worn out from the big day, but there was still one more place we wanted to stop on the way home. Oh, dude, is that what you got? Nice. So Sarah, fun day so far? Yes. Favorite thing so far? Eating. Eating is your favorite? Fair enough. That was and playing. Time to move on. And move on we would. At first we had to stand, but soon the kids got to enjoy some seats as we headed to our last stop of the night, a station on our way home. Not only is this area famous, but its winter illuminations are done by a personal friend of ours. Here we go. The illumination tour continues. Oh boy. Okay, what about this? This right here? Yep. Oh. We're almost there. Whoa. From Ginza Station, we walked a couple of minutes to the center of illuminations at Midtown Hibiya. As we walked under the lights, it was even better than we imagined. These lights stay up until Valentine's Day, so there's still a chance to see them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's so hot now. Oh, you're so hot. Okay, big smiles though. Sarah's smiles is exhausting. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. My favorite. <laughs> it's like mommy and daddy. Miss <laughs> Sarah. Wow, these trees here are cool. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna swipe. <laughs> and we're back. One, two. Oh, Becca and Anna holding it together. Hold it together. Oh, barely. This is just classic here. One, two, three. Girlfriend. Maybe of all the illuminations, is this is the best. Oh, so far? this is the best so far. I've wanted to come to Midtown. This is cool. Funky also has Real amazing. Mm -hmm. Becca, Becca. I won't take you there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> These kids can barely take anymore. And with that, we headed towards the subway to go the rest of the way home while Joshua kept us on track. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. 
Is that helping? Well, it's helping Rebecca. I don't know about Anna though. Anna Kate. Do you have a favorite spot for illuminations? Comment below. And from our family to yours, a very happy new year. See you next time on Life in Japan.